Hi, my name is Stuart Wayne Billings. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and this is Good Stories. So pretty much my whole life I've been doing art, ever since I was a kid. I was terrible at sports, really terrible at sports, but my mom always had like arts and crafts for me and my brother to do, and then I always excelled at that, and I went to, diff I went to very different mediums of art. I tried that experience, I went to short stories, to screenwriting, to tattooing, to drawing, to doodling. I used to paint on clothes when I was in high school. I was just always painting. I was always doing art, but what really got me to start painting on canvases is that I was depressed. I moved back from Chicago. I didn't really like my job, I was single and I was always trying to find happiness through someone else. And then I had a conversation with my mother and she told me the best way for me to find happiness is to find a project that I can do on myself and get it completed. And that's how painting started. When I was working at the tattoo shop, the owner used to tell me, Stuart, I have to draw every single day. That's how you get better. And then I remember my art teacher back in High school always used to say, draw what you see, not what you know. And when I worked at the tattoo shop, I felt like I had a family of like other artists and we was always trying to push each other, like they would do a great project. I wasn't very good at tattooing, but I wanted them to see how I can be a better drawer. So I took my time, I drew and I drew and I drew and I drew and I drew. And that's how my painting started getting better because I tried to hit all the little details by not knowing it, but actually drawing every detail I saw. Uh, my creative process, Pinterest, pretty much. I be on Pinterest, Instagram, Google, and I'd like to, I'll Google images all day and screenshot, 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 and be like, oh, I could do that, or I can flip that and reverse it. I like to do things that you don't see in like stores, which is pretty much anything black art. I want something to stand out. I also like the nostalgic area of 90s because I don't know if since everyone loved 90s or maybe that's just because my childhood and you know I, have felt, I felt safe in my childhood. So like there's a lot of things that I see in the 90s that I want to bring back. Especially like I feel like with black artists back in the 90s that's when they first was able to be free. When I moved back home I was in a slower paced city. I didn't have my freedom because I was back with my parents and I really didn't write or draw at all living with them. And that lasted for about a good year and a half, maybe two years I wasn't doing anything creative. Um, my favorite artist that inspires me the most, I got several, but it's probably going to be a tie between Beyonce and Michael Jackson because their work ethic is just ridiculous. Like. I mean, they're a Virgo like me, that sign out there. But it seems like they isolate themselves and just work on their craft repeatedly, 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 repeatedly until it's like clockwork to them. And then that's why they're like the best top performing artists ever in history. Some people's gonna love your work, some people's gonna hate it. But art is subjective, don't be timid. Draw what you see, not what you know. Learn the rules then make your own rules up because then you have your own style. Don't be afraid to experiment and put yourself out there.